Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be looking at how you can create a productive routine so you can live the life you want in 2019. <music> please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing to help us inspire more mums. If you're not living the motherhood of your dreams, chances are there are some changes that you need and want to make in your life. And actually, these aren't necessarily as big a changes as we often perceive them to be. This is where I've signed some people breaking up relationships and changing careers because they felt the need for change, where actually they would just needed some slight tweaks in the routine of their days and their weeks and their months. So the first thing you need to look at is what would a dream day in your life be? Now I don't mean the days when you're on a holiday or the days that are kid free or the days where you get to meet Oprah for the first time. I mean an average day in your life. If it was your dream average day in your life, the kind of days that make up the most of your year, what would that day look like? Would it include running or crafting or meditating or an hour of Netflix? Like everything is valid. It's about your life. Don't be influenced by what other people think you should have in your life. It's about shaping the day exactly how you would want it. Do you want to feel calm? Do you want to have high energy? It's also really important not to limit yourself to what you know or who you are now. This is your future self, your ideal self. How are they living their dream days? In fact, let us know down in the comments what's the one skill you would love to have as part of your dream life. I'm a big believer in the power of music and so often we put on music that reflects our current mood. Instead of putting on the music that would reflect the mood we'd like to have in that situation. So what soundtrack would play behind your ideal day? To make this super easy I've created a simple prompt sheet so you can discover what your dream day would look like. I'll link that down below so make sure you get it downloaded and completed. It's completely free and this will make this task so much faster. Okay, so now it's time to look at what routine would you need to have to make your dream day reality. This is where we get the dropout because this is where we get the excuses from people that this isn't right for me. But if you really believe in creating your dream day, I'm afraid this is the effort and the work that you're going to have to put in to get there. It may mean that you have to go to bed earlier so you can get up earlier. It may mean that you're dropping maybe one of your social events each week to free up some time. Do you have some regular appointments that just don't work anymore? Maybe they're on Saturday mornings and you'd really like to be spending more time with your kids. It's time to look at the things that have been stuck in your life for such a long time and either don't need to be there or are maybe in the wrong time and place. Don't take anything as set in stone. It may be that you need to leave where you are earlier and do the thing you're doing now at the other destination. For example, if traffic's really bad at a certain point on the way to a kid's club, could you leave earlier and do the homework once they get there instead of doing the homework first and getting stuck in traffic? These are very clever tweaks to your routine that can make so much difference. Are there times in your week where maybe it would be better to have a packed lunch dinner with you? They come out of swimming lesson and they have dinner at the venue with something you've bought as opposed to getting home and then having the hassle of that. Really work through your daily, weekly, monthly commitments. Do they really need to be there? Are they at the right venues for you? Are they at the right points in the week? You'd be surprised how much flexibility there is in something that you thought was very rigid. Make sure you're analysing it all properly so you're creating your life and you're not being dictated to by the rest of the world. Now block all these things out on your calendar. That's sleep. Sleep gets blocked out. That time is not spare for anything else, it's your sleep time. If you want to be meditating in the morning, block out the meditation time. If you want family dinner time, block out family dinner time. You, I might want to jump back to our video on time blocking, which I will link down below, but start taking ownership of these chunks of time that are important to you. If they are important to you, they need to be on your calendar. My final thought on this is you need to get protective of your time. We only have one life. This life can be terribly short, unfortunately, and 
do you want to have spent some of that time on other people's priorities and living in other people's routines? Be the star in your own show. You are not a guest character in your own life. Do not be afraid to say no. Every time you say yes, you're saying no to something else. So I live by the rule that if it's not a hell yes, it's a no. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.